everybody welcome back to plain simple today we're going to take a quick look at wing flaps wing flaps are uh, a lift augmenting or creating device right now we're looking at the bottom side of the left wing on this particular aircraft this is forward this is aft this here is the leading edge slats which i already did a video on uh, if you want to learn more about that Today we're going to look at the trailing edge lift device, which is the flaps. Flaps, the, the, the wings have a, their regular airfoil shape, which is streamlined, and it creates lift uh, starting at a certain speed. The aircraft needs to be flying fast enough at a certain speed for that wing to create or generate enough lift to fly. At slower airspeeds, however, for takeoff and landing, you need the wing to generate more lift at a lower airspeed. You're accelerating, you're picking up speed, but you're not fast enough to fly with a clean wing. Therefore, to generate enough lift at a lower airspeed, the wing will actually change shape. It will change the, the, uh, the camber of, of the wing. The leading edge slats will come down, the trailing edge flaps will come down, creating, changing the shape of the airfoil of the wing into a more curved, more pronounced cord line on the wing, creating more lift at a lower airspeed, also more drag. And I'm going to show you a cool view. These are the flaps extended. And I'm going to show you how, what makes them tick, what makes them come in and out. And very similar to the slats. Right now we are in the main landing gear wheel well. This is the hole in the belly of the airplane. There's a landing gear door. And this here is the cavity in the belly of the airplane where this main landing gear tucks into. So this landing gear will swing up and tuck away into that hole. So that's just so you know what we're looking at. Inside of here we have a setup very similar to what drives the leading edge slats. And again, you can look at that video if you want to learn more about that. You have a very similar setup where you have two electric motors that run run off of independent power supplies so that if one system fails the other one takes over both of them are feeding a, a gearbox connected through drive shafts this is driving the right wing flaps and this side is driving this shaft here is driving the left wing flaps now as you can see from here this is looking outboard on the left side of the left wing, trailing edge of the wing. The flaps are now extended. And they run on these carriages. That carriage runs on that track. This flap here, uh, and this inboard flap here is missing, is removed for maintenance. And here you can see from the motor assembly and gearbox that drives it, you have the drive shaft coming in and driving a lead screw very much like the leading edge slats that lead screw pushes the flaps in and out there's another a second one over there and then all these are linked up in a series back to back and this flap here will move in and out on these rails that rail right there the flap itself is attached to this carriage that carriage is the one that carries that flap on its travel. This is the outboard side and now this is the carriage for the inboard side. This is the side of the fuselage. This is where the wing meets the fuselage. This is the inboard flap for the left fl uh, inboard flap on the left wing. This is the carriage again. This is where the flap attaches to it and this carriage moves in and out on that track right there. 
that track. And that is a massively strong hunk of metal. And uh, just as a as a parting gift, we're gonna go up in the cockpit and I'm gonna show you the lever that the crew actuates to work the slats and the flaps in and out to deploy and retract them uh, in flight or on the ground. We'll go take a look at that now. Okay, we're in the cockpit now. And this, this obviously we're looking forward. Pilot goes here, co-pilot, and this is where the crew sits. This is the center pedestal. And if you look right here, see, see how it says slats and flaps on this handle here? Slats and flaps. This lever here, which is you get a different view. The pilots would pull up on this and move this up to retract them to zero degrees or the slats in. After that the slats, slats are out and the flaps are varying degrees of extension. Right now they're extended just so that we can have access for maintenance. And as you can see here there's a flag that says do not move because the flaps are removed. And that's the view that we just looked at with the flaps removed. That's what allowed us to look at the mechanism that makes them move. So there you go. That's what, uh, that there is what either, either one of the crew members, uh, that's the lever that they use to actuate and deploy and retract the slats and the flaps, which again are lift devices used to generate lift at lower air speeds. Once you get fast enough, you retract them, clean up the wing, and minimize drag. Alright, um, I hope you found that interesting, and see you next time.